Hey, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this sticker outline, like the one you see here. And I'm just going to start with a new file with the default cube as our object. So first of all, we need to render this. But before we can render it, let's go to render properties and go to film and click to enable transparent here. And then you can hit F12 or go up here where it says render and render image. And now you can see the background is transparent, which is what we want. So now you can hit escape and then you can come here up to compositing. And we're going to click here, use nodes. And then we can pull our render layers node way over here and composite way over here. I'm going to add a layout node reroute first, plug it there. Then I'm going to add an output viewer so we can actually see what we're doing. So if I plug this here, we can see the cube appearing in the backdrop. And over here on the right, I can click view and click fit so I can see the cube even better in a better scale. Okay, then I'm going to need some additional nodes. So first I'm going to add a, now where was it? Here, filter dilate erode node. So I'm going to add one of those. I'm going to connect the render layer sys alpha to the mask. Uh, then I'm going to need a set alpha node, which is going to be in converter. So set alpha, place it here. And then I'm going to connect the mask to the alpha. Next, I'm going to need a brightness contrast node. So I'm going to go to color and choose brightness contrast. And then I'm going to connect these image to image. Right, then we're going to need just one more node. And that's going to be alpha over. So I think that was in color. Yes, alpha over. So we're going to put it here. And we're actually going to move this, plug this to the lower image, and then plug this to the upper one. So now you can see there's already kind of this outline here. Now if you increase uh, the value here for the distance, you can get a bigger outline. But you see it's kind of chopped off weirdly. So we want to change the mode change it to threshold and that's going to give us these nice rounded edges. If you would like to have sharp edges then you could use uh, this node from distort scale. So you could use scale and put the alpha into the image and put the image into the alpha. Then just make this something like two each. Well, that's too much. Maybe 1.2, 1.2. And now you got this nice sharp edge. So you can choose between sharp or a rounded edge for your sticker outline. Uh, one more thing you may have noticed that the outline is not perfectly white. You can fix that by Turn the brightness here up to 100 and set the contrast to 99.9. .9. That's going to give you a bright white outline. So the sticker effect uh, becomes more believable maybe. If you increase this to 100, you can get a black outline for your sticker if you need that. Now if I would hit render from here, I would get a 
sticker with a black outline like this.